Hi, this is Madeline from Sonic Bloom with a new episode of With a Little Help from Max for Life. And this time I want to introduce you to um, Max for Life MIDI effect called Push to Pedal Expression by Max for Cats. But this time it's not developed by Christian Kleiner as usual, but by Ralf Succo, an Ableton developer. This Max for Life MIDI effect will allow you to calibrate a passive analog expression pedal or even two, to control all kinds of parameters that you usually, most of them you wouldn't be able to control with the push two. While push three is out now, a lot of you don't want the push three because, you know, it's not cheap and it might not give you exactly what you want. So uh, with this device, we're showing push two a little extra love and offering more capabilities with it. Right, so um, I do not actually have an expression pedal, even though I have three pedals, but I'm going to try and show you the same thing or the, the calibration setup with the sustain pedal, even though I won't be able to show you what nice things you can do with an expression pedal, because with the sustain pedal, the curve is just not right to be expressive enough. But let's go through the calibration. So right now we can see that uh, it says push to not found, because I haven't turned it on yet. So that's the first step. And then you have to plug in your pedal or pedals into one of the pedal jacks. And then we're going to go through the calibration together, which is really simple. Uh, and it's well explained as well here, as you can see in the little display. Click. And we're pressing the pedal down. Clicking again while keeping it closed down. Moving it up, and let's see if the last one works as well. This can take a little bit. Right, so that's it, and we could calibrate another pedal if you wanted. Okay, so we see that it's worked, and we have a curve calibrated here for pedal one, which is where I've plugged it in. Not very expressive as we can see here because it's a sustain pedal and not an expression pedal as it should be. And with the sustain pedal, I already had issues calibrating it. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't because it's the wrong pedal. I'm going to show you just what MIDI control changes you could map this to so that you can control things. So for example, in the MIDI tab in the sampler, so we've got the mod wheel, breath control, foot control, the volume balance, pan, expression control, effect control one and two, sustain, which is what we also already have as well as the mod wheel normally with push to and then hold to and trigger. And the calibration as well as the MIDI CC that you set are safe with the live set. And they're activated whenever the live set is loaded or push to is connected. Right, um, I've already added a sampler preset to show you an example of what you can do, even though with a sustain pedal it's not expressive, but you do hear that it works. So we could set it here to foot control and then when we go here in the sampler on the MIDI tab and here we can see that we have foot control as an option and I've already set it to filter frequency 100 and the LFO 1 rate and minus 29.1 and so now we can just play something As I said, not as expressive as you'd like, but it's just a sustain pedal, not an expression pedal. So if you've got an expression pedal, you can create much cooler effects and play around with the options in life for that. You can find the download link for the device in the description below. Yeah, I hope you found this useful. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll hopefully see you next time.